Another clip here again. Curse your sub. What's this called? It says, What's this behind the fryers over here? <laughs> this is supposed to be a good one. Let's see what this is saying. I think they're talking about that fight companion, 289 or what or whatever it is, right? Has gone. The one with Paulie Shore and Schmo. And the rumors are out there that it might do it might have to do with that happy hippo company not being happy with um Paulie Shaw mentioning how much he went to do coke. <laughs> so that could be an issue, but let's play this clip here and see what the deal is here. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Is it the <laughs> Yeah, Polly two just fights asked, at Polly. How, how much longer do I have to be here? Polly's like, <laughs> Polly's like the main event's next, right? I got to say. It's 8.45. Your set's at 10.30. Yeah. We'll I bet you're out of here it. by 9.30. 9.30. No. I got to take a quick piss break. Yeah. Also, who does it anyway? That's, a, that's the most... Am I, am I bad in thinking that's the most like... Well, not most, but it's kind of rude. It's lacking in manners. If you're meeting up with a friend, like it kind of makes you feel like you're like second choice, right? You're not the priority. When your friends kind of use you as a meeting buffer. Do you get what I mean? Like they've got a spare two hours. You happen to be somewhere. I'm going to meet you for two and then go to the other thing I want to go to actually. Like, no, just go to the thing you want to go to. But don't use me as a kind of like as a stopgap sort of thing. Do you know what I mean? It's a little bit weird. It's a very LA thing to do, right? Like I'm gonna be here, I'm only gonna be here for 45 minutes. And so then you spoil the whole flow of the show and then you live leave halfway in between. And this guy is, you know, he's he's a bit of a vibe poorly show. He's quite expressive, bubbly, fun dude. He leaves, and it's very obvious when he leaves. Yeah, big up Austin Casey, appreciate ten dollars, brother. You're right about him being on best behavior around Rogan. But Brenda is really good at winning over people when he wants to. He did it with Callan originally and also Theo. When he sees someone that can further his career. Well, if it's not, you can try me fast. You know, I agree with you. Big up, um, Austin Ketchup. I agree with you. The only thing I'd push back on it a little bit is that I think Brendan does that thing that, and again, I know people that did it before in my past because, you know, I've, I've grown, I've kind of had the displeasure of kind of growing up um, first within the sneaker community, being a sneakerhead for a very long time, collecting, you know, at, at my peak, I had like over fucking 200 fucking sneakers in my room, like an absolute weirdo, but hardly any clothes. I was one of those fucking losers. I'd buy all those cool sneakers in the world, but they have any clothes. Then I spent a lot of time in the streetwear world, working for brands, having brands, working in the stops, all that kind of shit. Then I moved into fashion. So I've had to experience some of the worst human beings ever to touch the face of the earth who are involved in sneakers, who are involved in streetwear, who are involved in fashion. In all of those industries, you'll meet people who do this thing where if somebody's above them, if somebody's more clouded up, if somebody's got more of a reputation, they will act so lovely. They're on good behavior all the time. Because they know they can, that person is beneficial for their career. Either that person works at a brand they want to work at, an agency, they've got a link, their brother and sister of this person. Like they'll be on best behavior at all times. I think Brenda's the same thing. He will never not act like a good person around Joe Rogan because Rogan's bigger than him and he's got more money than him. And one of the things that Brendan respects a lot is like money and success and stuff. So because Brendan Rogan's way, way more famous, way more likable, well, that's what like, he'll always kind of acquiesce and kind of, you know, kind of, you know, uh, defer to Rogan's kind of intellect. But over time, you've seen him kind of push back a little bit, but he's always going to have that, okay, Rogan's richer than me, Rogan's bigger than me, Rogan's richer than me, bigger than me and he's never going to overset the mark. So, I don't think Brennan does that to kind of win people over. He just does that because he only respects you if you have money and shit. That's my only opinion on that one. A little pushback there. But yeah, big up you. I gotta sack. take a piss right. too. Okay. <laughs> Something. And then the other, everyone would be like, oh man, you don't do that. Is there anything well, like I that? What do you guys think again? Let me see, let me see in the chat. Um, uh, what do you guys think? Because I'm, I've, I've got my doubts. I just think Paulie's a bit. He's like a child star, isn't it? He? He's not really developed as normal as everybody else. He's kind of, you know what? No, you know Paulie Shore is. Paulie Shore is like what a comedian's meant to be. He's like just wacky. He's really, he's genuinely wacky and crazy. He's not playing a role. That's actually what he's like. He's just not, you know, all the way there. Like that's just how he is. 
So I don't think it's coke, personally, for me. But I want to see what you guys think. Um, uh, did Paulie Shaw... Did Paulie Shaw go... Did Paulie Shaw leave to... Did Paulie Shaw leave to do a line? Did Paulie Shaw leave to do a line? What do, what do you guys think? I'm curious, because I don't think he did. I just think he just wanders around and he's just crazy. What do you guys think? I think he's just wandering, doing his thing, being crazy. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Did you think he did a line or not? <clears throat> What's the poll saying here? Yes, so far, no. Actually, <laughs> Jay always gets the most results. He never answered the question. Just ask Jay. <laughs> um, yeah, exactly. Yeah, good robot's got a good point there. I like a lot of Paulie's movies. True, uh, me too. But I don't think he's the kind of guy I'd want to spend a lot of time with in real life for sure. He's be the worst person to go to a bar with, restaurant. He's a lot to deal with, or just walk around. Do you know what I mean? He just will, he, he'll start wandering, touching people, talking to strangers and shit. He's not the best hang. I definitely think you're right there. So okay, most of you guys think he did go off to do a line. Okay, fair play. I don't think so. I just think he just wandered off because he's just a psycho. But hey, let's go. Isn't he sober now? Ha ha ha! Bro, Richard Williams, people in LA are never sober un unless they actually are sober. And the ones that are sober are the ones that actually go to fucking, you know, meetings and shit. The ones that just quit stuff cold turkey themselves is always LA sober. Oh, I'm sober, but I have wine on the weekends with my wife. Like, it's like, bro, what? Like, <laughs> they're never sober, these guys. I yeah. pokes for sure. That's one. I poke, but those happen on accident. Yeah, if you do it purposely, that's messed okay. up. Okay, yeah. so you stay with throwing shots purposely. That's messed up too. Yeah, oh, that's the oh, oh. is that the same pizza that Eric was eating? So they didn't even eat it. Brendan bought one pizza to share for everybody, and then Paulie gives the fucking pizza to the dog. <laughs> <laughs> Eric was hungry. No wonder he was hungry. <laughs> oh, Paulie, man. What are you doing? <laughs> like, one pizza and then he gives it to the fucking dog. <laughs> Dog's probably going to be shitting himself the whole day as well. That's in anything. Yeah, uh, yeah. We get to, you know. Yeah, but there's. I don't, like, I don't it's know. tough. I don't know. Pizza. That can't be good, but hell yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> he's not, he's not shit his hey, big up, Dio. They definitely did. Eddie Griffin, the type of guy to get sold salt, then sniff it all night and kiss a bloke and blame the drugs. Big up, Dio. Appreciate you. You know why I remember that? You know why I'm laughing? Last time I went to LA, that time I went to see all these comedians and stuff, the only time, uh, first and last time, um, I was with a group. Oh, I went and stayed at the Ge the Generator Hotel. The, sorry, the Generator Hostel in fucking Hollywood somewhere, right? I don't know. I think I think it was. I don't know what area it was. But if you know about hostels in LA, you'll know about it. Fucking run down and fucked up, but it was a good time. Good little crew there. There was a group of Australian dudes, right? And if you know anything about Australian dudes, they love to fucking party. Good vibes. So we go out on a night out. Before I think we went to go to Laugh Factory, we're going out. And they want to go pick up. They want to get some drugs. They want to get some class A yayo, right? So they want to go get some yayo. And obviously, we, we don't know where we are, innit? We're just in fucking LA walking around. And I guess we end up going to like a seedy part of LA where there's loads of pimps and stuff around. And these fucking Australians just equate, oh, black guy with a fucking pimp outfit and a cane. He's going to be selling some coke. So they go over to this random dude on the corner of the street. <laughs> I leave them, girl, like, this is sketchy. I leave them to go do their thing. I think I'm eating some hot wings as they're going to go buy their whatever. And they go to this random guy, this black guy in the street. He's wearing, like, a purple suit. And they just ask him if he's got coke to sell. <laughs> he must have looked at them like, wow, this is going to be the easiest lick of my life. So he says, yeah, wait here one minute. So he disappears around the corner. He comes back after, like, 20 minutes. And he gives them coke. And they pay him the money. They feel like $200 or whatever they give him the money. And luckily, we didn't get too far. We like, walked around the corner. And obviously, Australians are like fucking British people. They, they just take, take out the bag and want to fucking sample it right there. He takes, takes a key of it and sniffs it. And instantly, he realizes that it's the chalk that you get from like um, uh, playing pool. I guess he recognized the, the taste of it. 
I don't know what they taste like or what it sniff like. You recognize that it's the fucking the chalk that you get to you know sharpen your fucking or whatever your porky your porky whatever the chalk is called. And then he runs after the guy, and then they start threatening him to beat him up and shit. And then they get the money back, which is lucky because usually pimps have fucking guns or knives on them, but they got their money back. So it makes me laugh when I hear that because I remember that fucking instance of these guys trying to buy coke from a random pimp. <laughs> And it didn't end well for them. <laughs> they got sold fucking chalk. It was absolutely incredible. Anyway, let's go back to this. Yeah, of course he likes dog, it. Bro. He's a dog. He's gonna he's gonna vomit all over your car. Damn, man, I want some pizza. <laughs> um, um, yeah, it's very strange. It's very right? strange. That's the, that's the I don't know. I never trusted it. I didn't feel comfortable. I didn't know enough about it. And there's a lot of people that made bank and got out early. Wow. Yeah, tons really? of people. Bank. Wow. Smart. <laughs> okay, this so this kind of feels like when somebody's taking their first line and they're just like absorbing the environment. This kind of feels a little bit druggy. It's I know it's edited in a way to make it look a little bit more druggy, but this feels a little bit druggy. The kind of gaps in the answers. Like Brendan's all like alert and on it. And stuff. And look at Schmo's face. <laughs> you look at the guys who just hit something. No, it feels a little bit druggy. To be fair, maybe I believe. Maybe I believe them. To be fair, maybe I believe the fucking person made a video. Maybe they did go and do a line. Oh no, I never trusted. It. I didn't feel comfortable. Uh oh, wipe the nose. And there's uh -oh. a lot of people that made bank and got out early. Wow. Yeah, tons really? of people. Really? Bank. Wow. Oh, he's doing that little smart mouth water thing. Don't get me wrong. Doing drugs and just drinking water is fucking psychotic shit. If you get to that kind of level, you should just probably quit everything. If you're just doing drugs and drinking fucking cold water, like, <laughs> you are a fucking psycho. Here we go. It's just so hard, hard to root against this guy. He's such a good dude. Yeah, dude. And he's way closer <laughs> to heaven than any of us. So. Yeah. Him and Tim Tebow. It's weird in the comparison to the last guy how this dude, guy Tim has Tim Tebow zero was movement. the most extreme. He go down on one knee and everything like that. Uh, Darius is right up there. What the fuck is going on here? Look at this. Hold on, I'll, I'll, go, I'll go get a child away. Look what Paulie Shaw's doing. Look what Paulie Shaw's doing to his nose. Okay, I think I believe the thing of like the the coke conversation now. Look what he's doing to his nose. Like who does this? <laughs> look at look at look look at this. He go down on one knee and everything like that. Uh, Darius is right up. <laughs> he's digging for gold or looking for some crumbs to more up on his gums or something. What's happening here? There, look at him, man. You notice how this guy has zero booty compared to the other guy. Oh, you know what? He, he might have, actually, to be fair to Paulie. He might have that thing that some druggies have where if you do drugs for a long time, you just have little ticks that look like you're a caner, look like you're a druggie, but you're not. It's like residual effects of like doing too much gear. You always have these little ticks that you do that make you look like you're on something, but you're not. So maybe he has that sort of thing. He has the kind of, you know, the, the fucking, the, the, he's got, he has permanent drug shivers or something. You know what I mean? Like yes. this booty, like somebody, Why are you looking like at somebody, his ass, bro. Because you didn't see the I, last I guy. His ass was just. I go to his house. We play board juicy. games and shit with his team, and oh, he sick. makes coffee and brings and you're, hell. And you're rooting up. against him, you piece of shit. No, I'm not rooting against <laughs> Benil. I like Charles too. Dude. Yeah, it you. just sucks. Yeah, man. This, yeah he's, he's he's got a smile of a face of somebody who had a good bit of perico. <laughs> Shmo's enjoying. He's like, bro, man, I should come here more often. Then I watch the fights for free. I get to drink. And I get a couple of lines of poorly, man. Fuck. It's pretty good, dude. <laughs> <He's like laughs> okay, I might buy the theory that they're all on fucking drugs. I might buy the theory. To be fair, you might need to be on drugs to sit down with those guys. <sighs> anyway. Moving on from that one. Um... Cool, 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 cool. What's this? Okay, we're going to play. What's it? Oh, yeah. This is allegedly, this is, what's his title? The infamous Happy Hippo Blow ad read from the delighted, the delighted deleted episode. So, um, let me end the fucking poll. What are you guys saying here? Did Paulie Shaw leave to do a line? 59% said yes. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> Everyone here is an adult. Everyone here has seen those things before. They know what happens when adults leave together to all go to the toilet at the same time. Either it's a group of women all bickering and gossiping about you, or it's a group of dudes putting stuff up each other's bums. Usually is the case. So I think I'm going to end the poll there, and I'm going to agree with everybody that said what they said. 
Um, so we move. We fucking move. Why isn't this fucking thing working here, by the way? Let's see here. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Um, is that working there? Yeah, okay, it's working back to normal. Cool. Let's do this. Okay. So the title of this video now is The Infamous Happy Hippo Hip Blow Hip Hip Hippo Blow Ad Read from Deleted Episode. So the theory goes on the theory. At the moment, if you go on the Thick Boy channel, the fight companion that Paulie Shaw's on has been deleted. It's not there anymore. Now it could be because Chin is editing the bits out of Paulie Shaw saying what he said, or it could be what people are saying that one of the main sponsors of Thick Boy overall, I think that they spend pretty penny because he's always shouting them out. Happy Hippo, that CBD company, they weren't too happy with their name being associated with cocaine. Because in the midst of them talking, Brendan tried to be clever and do like a little ad read. And then Paulie stepped all over it by mentioning how much he wants to do coke. Every, even a jokey way or, you know, being serious, clearly got back to the Happy Hippo guys and they weren't happy. And um, with them being the main, you know, uh, sponsors there, uh, they said take the show down and Brendan agreed. So that's the theory that's going around at the moment. That's why 289 episode is currently down. So let's clip, play this clip here and see what the vibe is on this one. Hey, ah, Chin, make sure, Chin, make Dude, sure he doesn't. Most finishes. Chin, make sure he doesn't cut to me when I'm yawning, please. <laughs> All right, we'll, we'll try our too best. Late. It was live, by the way. Yeah, I know, but just, it's already he's doing a switcher. He just don't cut to me. It's, a it's already been a That's meme, Casey. Though. Yeah, I guess well, If Casey. you need that nice, right. warm, balanced, good mood feeling, there you uh, go. Paul, you need a happy hippo I need a, I like a line of Coke, dude. <laughs> He just stepped all over it. He got Chin to queue up the graphic and shit. Time it well. <laughs> and he just said, I need some coke. I need some heroin. <laughs> Let's do that again. That was so good. Finishes. Chin, make sure he doesn't cut to me when I'm yawning, please. All right, we'll, we'll try our too best. Late. It was live, by the way. Yeah, I know, but just, it's already he's doing a switcher. He just don't cut to me. It's, a it's already been a That's meme, Casey. Though. Yeah, I guess well, If Casey. you need that nice, right. warm, balanced, good mood feeling, there you uh, go. Paul, you need a happy hippo I need a, I like a line of coke, dude. <laughs> I need a line of coke, dude. <laughs> I don't need no fucking CBD. Do you know what I mean? I don't believe in that shit. I need some coke. <laughs> no, no, we don't do that. What's going kratom, on? Dude. A bunch no. of pussy. No coke. We need kratom, dude. We need happy hippo kratom. It's the only product that I use personally. Oh, use it for podcasts. <laughs> you stand up. Wait, you gotta Polly. cut that part out. No, you're good, man. We're live, live, right? <laughs> So Shit. it's all good, dude. <laughs> the passive aggressive Brendan came out. I, you people have to be careful about Brendan. He's still a fucking trained fighter. He's still a trained killer. You can kill people with your bare hands. So people need to be very careful with him. Don't push him too far because he may fucking Chris Benoit that entire fucking room. Because that little flash of rage that came over him was crazy. We're live though, right? Right? No, no coke. We need kratom, dude. Commercial we need happy hippo kratom. It's the only product that commercial. I use personally. Oh, I use it for podcasts. <laughs> you stand up. Wait, night, you gotta Polly. cut that part out. No, you're good, man. It We're live, live, right? <laughs> One so more time. All good. Has <laughs> you stand up. Wait, night, you gotta Polly. cut that part out. No, you're good, man. We're live, live, right? <laughs> so <laughs> We're live, right? You wanna die, right? <laughs> Yes. It's all good, dude. It's the best. Gives that nice balance, good. It's also feeling. Saturday night. People usually do coke on Saturday. You're right, dude. But I, I suggest coke. Happy Hippo. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know if it's as good, but it's a different thing, right? Uh, I, I use would the never. <laughs> Paulie is interrupting Brendan the same way he interrupts everybody else. I don't mean to interrupt. I can actually, actually find a clip of him interrupting. The compilation. I'm gonna play this after. Oh my god, man! Paulie Shaw's interrupting Brendan the same way he interrupts everybody else. He's finally getting some medicine. He's finally getting a bit of karma in this regard. He's finally seeing what it feels like when somebody doesn't let him finish a thought <laughs> or a sentence. <laughs> I fucking love it. Oh my god, man! This is so fucking good. Any country shots, dude. the butterscotch or sour apple. They have gummy powders. They got the shots for you. If you're gonna trust, great trust Chinese happy ginseng. hippo. HappyHippo.com, promo code STICK23 for 20% off. Chinese, he called Happy Hippo Chinese Jinxing. <laughs> Yo, this for guy. Life. That's HappyHippo.com, <coughs> STICK23. With plum Main sauce. events coming up.
And some plum, plum sauce. sauce. Oh, I like plum sauce. Yeah, and with wong tong. What's going but also, on? But also for those for those studios too. <laughs> it, it's a tough situation for the studios too. Right? Seems like you've never seen a fight in your I'm gonna entire do life. Joe for the blow. Here you go. <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> hey, man, I got some coke right here, man. I got some chokey cokey cokey, bro. You know what's funny though? I find interesting about these guys. Paulie's a bit cringe, and a little bit of a loser, whatever. But let's be real. He's also a legit comedian. That's how comics are meant to be. Like they're just crazy, right? They're not. They're not like. They they're just meant to be a little bit like weird because essentially you're playing a fucking clown on stage every day, right? You're not going to be the most well-adjusted person in the world. So that that's how you should be acting. That's that's what comedian energy should be like. But they can't even handle it. Look, they're all like laughing awkwardly. They're all kind of tensed up because you know they don't really hang around with actual comedians, you know. It's kind of like they're all kind of, I don't know. Do you know what I mean? I know he comes from a rich background and he's a bit of a trust fund kid and shit. Nepo baby, I get it. But Paulie also has a little bit of like, you know, randomness about him. Like, you know, like comedic energy and shit. And they just can't handle it. They don't know what to do. They're all looking away awkwardly and shit. I want to do a line right here. And then... <laughs> all right. Like at EDC. <laughs> I want to do a line right here. Honestly, man, absolutely incredible. Paulie made Brendan Shrew lo lose a sponsor, maybe. May make him have to delete an episode. And it's funny because I think this was probably the best show they did in a while. Um, looking at the clips, it looked like a good time. Like, Paulie actually made it fun. He didn't fucking give a fuck. He was, you know, fucking around, busting each other's balls. And he it probably was fun to watch live. I, I bet the stream chat was fucking popping. Um, you know, while they were doing the show, it was actually pretty funny to maybe watch the show and be in the stream chat at the same time. And he has to take it down like the actual best show that he's done in a while on Fight Companion. The vibes were immaculate, they actually all kind of got on really well. Um, so it's a shame Paulie had to leave halfway through and now he had to kind of take it down. Absolutely crazy, man. Um, but yeah, <laughs> Chai could happy hippo Chinese ginseng. <laughs> Oh, disrespect is crazy. <laughs> he completely stepped all over that ad read. He didn't give a fuck. He's like, nah, man, we're not doing that ad read around here, man. Fuck, fuck off with that shit. Oh, fucking legend is Paulie, man.